and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a crazy deck. This one's called Turn to Kills. This deck, is, it is actually mathematically possible to be killing people on turn two if they don't have any interaction. And obviously, we have to have a lot of things go right for us. We have to have a perfect hand. But there's a few different combinations, maybe three or four combinations, um, maybe even a couple more of different combinations of cards that could get us to have 20 damage on turn two. Um, so that will be crazy if it'll ever happen. I'll be really surprised if it does, but that's that's the goal of our deck. And so that's why it's called Turn It to Kills. So a big thing of the deck is going to be Oblivious Islander. Um, we're, we're also just going to have to kind of play some games out and just kind of see what happens. Because uh, I, I don't really know every single permutation. Can't really describe every single permutation to how to get to 20 damage. But Oblivious Islander um, being able to reduce the cost of an ally in hand by one. Um, and, you know, basically if we have... We need, we need like multiple Oblivious Islanders because you can play one, turn another one into being a zero mana 2-1, and you can play that one and then put, turn another one into being a zero mana 2-1 and play that one and so on. Um, but of course, we can only go six wide and it only does two damage. But so like Sparring Student is going to be important to have like on turn one a lot of the times where if we have turn one Sparring Student, then whenever we start playing all the other allies on turn two, it'll be pumping up Sparring Student each time. So like if we... We have sparring student on turn one and turn two we play five other things to fill up the board that will make these the sparring student a six six on turn two and that's going to be a big way to get us to 20 damage we have fading memories to help us get more oblivious islanders when we do that um and you know sometimes we need like those oblivious islanders to make like these shadow fiends cost zero and so we can play you know shadow fiend also so like that's going to be a part of our deck um let's see sometimes like we could get we could get if we have like multiple fading memories then we start putting some claws of the dragons into play for free that could definitely help us out um and then other times we could we could use um uh with sparring student turn one islander use one of our mana on turn two we can have curse keeper use the other mana and we can have curse keeper with bark beast um and that and or sorry with ravenous butcher with ravenous butcher and with that, that that can also help pump up Sparring Student even more because we can play even more than five units with Ravenous Butcher, Curse Keeper, or even just Ravenous Butcher after these. So it'll be interesting to see if, the, if we can ever pull it off. Um, if we can, that will be epic. But we're going to go play normal. This is the definition of a meme tier deck for sure. Uh, I guess I didn't set up any... Um, any emotes or anything we'll just kind of go we'll just go with normal everything um yeah i'm i'm hoping it'll happen one time in the five games that will be amazing because also you have to think about it like we have to have the attack token turn two like maybe we only have the attack token on turn two in like you know just a couple of the games anyway all right so we definitely don't want haunted relic um obviously we need islander Claw of the Dragon, I think we mulligan also. I think. I think we mull Claw of the Dragon. Because we need, we need like multiple fading memories before Claw of the Dragon really does it. Alright, not gonna happen. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need... Sparring Student, Fading Memory, Oblivious Islander. It's This is going to be really difficult for it to ever happen. Um, uh, I don't know. I guess I just play this Islander, I guess. No, maybe not. Maybe I, I have like a crazy turn on turn four with all these green, with green blade duo. Yeah, maybe like turn four, we just start dropping a bunch of stuff. Nothing can stop me. Um. Hmm. I want another spell. Hey, what's up, Chris? Feels like a big one. 
Alright, yeah, let's try to get another spell. Spell? No. Uh, alright, well. The trap is set. Hmm. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Kneel, students, rise, warriors. <laughs> A lot of damage. Over there. Put them down to six. That's fine. I don't think we need to use this right now. That's still a good amount of damage there. Nice 13 damage or 14 damage through a blocker. I guess. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna have to block one of these things. But then I, I think I just go straight to combat because they only have they have one blocker. Hopefully it works. No removal. Okay. Well, we didn't get a turn two kill, but we got the win. And yep, that's the problem with the three mana five four. It doesn't block. <laughs> oh no. Removal. Our deck has like no resistance to anything. <laughs> uh, we're gonna mulligan all these. I don't know, Bark Beast is like actually, it could be good. Okay. It does feel like we're in ranked. I mean, you you play good decks in normal also. Yeah, it does kind of feel like we're in ranked. Alright, getting some pressure. Barring student look good there. Also be easy to kill. Oh, we got the Curse Keeper Ravenous Butcher combo. And Bark Beast also. Left foot, left foot. Hmm. Obviously the, the best thing to do is to go Bark Beast first, but I'm a little worried about going Bark Beast first for another Mega Rain or uh Something like that. Well, I guess I can go Curse Keeper first, and then I can go Bark Beast, and then Butcher. We'll see if they like spend their mana. See if they go like Static Shock or, or whatever. No! Ugh. Darn. Boys, we have 
Well, that's weird. Now they don't get to block the 4-3. Like, that's that's not a good attack. They could just have the 3-2 block the 4-3. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's going to be incredibly hard for us to get a turn 2 kill. Like, we have to have such a great combination of cards, and we have to have our opponent not doing anything. Rescue, well, that's a good sign. Well, that's a good sign. I was not expecting that to work. Time for a true display of skill. That's a great sign. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Boo. Hey, uh, Indestruct. Hello, hello. All right, let that happen. Yourself to the shadows. We'll play New Zed. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Treasures of the ages for a price. Bleh. So do I want to go straight to combat or... Or I can go Keeper of Mask, Fading Memory, the Keeper of Mask, play another one, you know, play two of those. Um, I can even have like a Shadow Fiend. Or I could go Shadow Fiend first, and I could like Memories get another Shadow Fiend, and, like Keeper or something else. Probably better to play stuff. Yeah, so they were going to have spells anyway. Oh no! Not Haunted Relic. It just gives them all the blockers. Well, that's that's game. That was the worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, both of our both of our losses today, assuming this is a loss, were with the opponent. Using Yoink and stealing the best thing they could. Playing against really good decks, and they are letting us know. 
And so those cards are just going to cost zero mana. They have two black market merchants in play. It's not like I have things that cost any mana. So like those are just going to be zero mana things. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. There's plenty of killing left. Can't get through any damage, and they have all those blockers. Okay, one and one. Obviously, I completely regret not attacking immediately, but I don't think it would have mattered. So far, we've had the attack token on turn two each game, which has been perfect. Okay, here we go. No, why'd I have to say something? The attack token turn one. Alright, let's mulligan these. Okay, okay. So, we're gonna need like a turn three kill. It's gonna be more difficult for them not to do anything on those turns. Good, no Omen Hawk. Well, it was fresh. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Maybe they have nothing? Maybe they have nothing? I don't even know if I have enough damage to kill them anyway. I don't think I do. Oh, hello there. Do I? Probably not. 36, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I do have 19 damage here. Today you are king king. If they don't play anything, this is 19 damage. No, don't play anything. Okay, that's 17. Come on! 19? No? Oh no! Ah. So close! So close. So close. Alright, how do we get four extra points of damage in now? It is easy, see? That's gonna be the hard part. How do we get four more points of damage? Our deck's not our deck's not really built to <laughs> withstand blockers, as we have found out. We can't do anything against blockers. Eat, eat and grow strong. What a 
horrors done to you? It's the exact same block. Um. Yeah, I could have... If I would have Ravenous Butchered away the 2-1 before... Like, if I would have Ravenous Butchered away this Oblivious Islander before playing the Keeper of Masks, I guess I could have done an additional... I could have done an additional 2 damage. So I, I missed out on 2 damage that, that previous turn. Or, like, you know, that, like that turn that we did. I, I, you know, we are still going for the, the lethal, but I... If I would have Butchered away this 2-1... No, I'm I'm not talking about the the last turn we just had when they were at four. The turn whenever we attacked for nineteen. Winter is the frail yard's true I could have made it two additional damage that that turn that it was going to be nineteen. Well, I mean, I guess we could draw a green glade duo. Green glade duo. Green glade duo. Hmm. They, they did have Brittle anyway, so yeah, like it was, it was basically if they had, if they had interaction anyway, uh, it wasn't going to be, right, like we were going to, we were, it wasn't going to be enough, and so I didn't play it because, because we could draw like Curse Keeper, so I could kept the Ravenous Butcher in hand because we could draw Curse Keeper and stuff, and I figured if they had a, if they had interaction, we weren't dealing lethal anyway, but it would have been two extra damage. And probably with this deck, you just got to try to get the most damage you can in and not worry about the future. Feels like a bacon. So my only hope is drawing Green Glade Duo. They don't have a Frostbite thing. Or even if they do have a Frostbite thing, we, we pump it up a couple of times. I could see... I could see... Yeah, I could see Phantom Prankster being in this deck. I could see that. To help get the, those last points of damage in. I like that. I think I like that more than like Haunted Relic. Like, I'm, we're never going to use this Haunted Relic for anything. I mean, I guess it's a spell, but, like, these little 1-1s, one even with Sparring Student, just aren't aren't valuable. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think of that Phantom Prankster? Why can't I not find Phantom Brink? So there it is. Haunted Relic Keeper can do something? Not really. I don't think Haunted Relic ever does anything. Hmm. I understand that, that with Sparring Student and Green Glade Duo, it can uh, pump those up, but I don't think it's... I mean, the whole rest of your deck is going wide anyway, so like you, you don't really have the room for that, for the most part. Alright, I'm going to try taking that card out and putting in Phantom Breakster. Okay, we have the attack token turn one. Unfortunately, so I guess that means we're going to keep Zed. Just try to play like a straight up game. Uh, so. Cool. 
Right. Claws, Claws of the Dragon is super high variance, just like our, our deck is, but this this can give us the turn two kills. Um, but it's super high variance. That's what I wanted on turn one was this card, but... I have a good hand with double dredgers. That is great for the deep deck. Stay at 20. All right, well, we can have a crazy turn five. Well, it's a pretty good turn five. No. That hurts. Just like we that also hurts. I can learn from watching you. Would have been a lot better to have that Zed in play that's attacking and putting in another unit. And it would have been a lot better to just draw a unit instead of draw Mark of the Isles. Nine. Alright, so that's... So I can put them to nine or... Alright, so we, we're just going to kill their thing. Instead of putting them to seven. Ooh, Silent Shadow Seer. I could see playing that instead of. I could also see, yeah, I could see playing that instead of the the Phantom Prankster. Thanks, Big Alfredo. A Swain Vlad deck. All right. Dang, triple Dredgers. What do we think of, of Silent Shadow Seer or Phantom Prankster? Well, 
Well, they had a good hand, triple dredgers and the three-two life steal and grass the undying. Definitely a very good hand for a deep deck. <laughs> We're watching a sparring scene take on Devourer Depths with her hands. True. Alright. Yeah, I could definitely see us needing more elusives. Well, I'm I'm fine with Shadow Seer. Shadow Seer also just helps out, um, that really helps out Oblivious Islander, where sometimes, like, if, if you don't have, like, a great combo hand, where you don't really want to make any of your other things ephemeral, and Shadow Seer is, a, is another great target for, um, for Oblivious Islander. No, we can't, we can't take out Claws of the Dragon for Chariot. I mean, that would, that would not make us a turn two deck anymore. Like, we, we're... You know, trying to be like this turn two deck. Uh, but it's really hard to pull off. Alright, uh, Islander. I'm gonna keep Islander. Let's find sp Sparring Student, more Islanders. Okay. Like, we have to just get a perfect hand for it to work. See, that works. I think it's better than Haunted Relic. The Yordle here's with me. Let's move. Oh yeah, it's extremely hard to get a perfect hand, but that doesn't mean that we we don't want to we don't want to try the dream. It's definitely the dream, but we're gonna try it. Pledge yourself to the shadows. This is gonna be a. This could be a great turn four for us. Order. Well, it's gonna be a great turn four. Do I have Mark of the Isles to kill Braum? Alright, so option is Mark of the Isles, my Zed. I'm going to just do that right now, and I get two 5-4s and a 3-1 attacking. That's 13 damage if they don't block with Braum. Or I play the Shadow Seer, and that's like 7 damage there. I can attack out with everything. They get a 3-3. Three, three. I think we just do this and let them get the 3-3 three, three and not kill Braum. Wow. I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely the big proponent of, of Death's Lotus. I tell people to play that card a lot. I say that card is great, but and it sure kill us there. Courage masks the heart from fear. The winter's claw will purge the weak. No, we don't really need all those Mark of the Isles. Not yet done. Yeah, Mark, Mark of the Isles hasn't looked good. Um, it pairs well with 
we haven't played like this this deck has like these games aren't long at all i'm gonna just play another game it pairs well with the fading memories to so get claw of the dragons is down okay now we're talking maybe we keep bark beast we can't have a turn two kill because we don't have the attack token on turn two Oh, come on, Ravenous Butcher. Okay. That card works. Ready, willing, and learn. I can work with the Curse Keeper. Dude, would this be a turn two kill hand? Now we need a Ravenous Butcher. If that Bark Beast was a Ravenous Butcher... Yeah, if this Bark Beast was a Ravenous Butcher, we would have been able to do 20 damage, right? Dang. I've whipped up something special. Okay. Well... Powder keg is going to be a problem. Check out these moves. Got a surprise for him. Like, well, you know, if they have Mega Rain, Mega Rain's obviously just the huge problem. Okay. So we're going to go. Oh, why didn't I? I meant to. I meant to play the Islander last turn. Whoops. I honestly did. I meant to play Islander. I just. I don't know why I clicked OK. I meant to play this. Yeah, because then if I would have played that, we would have been able to play all three of these. Or I guess we're, we're going to be going six wide anyway. Ouch. I'm just gonna go Curse Keeper and Bark Beast. I could have had another Ephemeral Oblivious Islander this turn. Guess we get rid of that to one damage. At low. Oh yeah, y'all are right. Y'all are right. Students should be doing damage after the cur the curse keeper. Y'all are right. Yeah, y'all. I I didn't think of that. Yeah, y'all are right. I should do the curse keeper should be first with the keg because then then we get the four three and then it pump these to be five fives. All right, well, that'll work. That will still work. Yeah, House Spider, make it rain. House Spider with two damage, make it rain. Like, that's that's a hard combo to beat. That seems super greedy for them not to play... Yeah, like, why did they just play make it rain, like, immediately? I don't know why they waited. One more. One more. At Lao, thank you so much. Four awesome months with the sub. 
Did I get my hypebots in there? Yes, I did, but we're gonna get some more. Thank you so much, you are amazing. I really appreciate that. We've gotten three subs today. Okay, here we go, turn two. This is not gonna be a turn two kill hand. Um, that deck's good at killing stuff. It's almost like I, I kind of want a mulligan green glade duo because their deck's just going to kill all my stuff. You, do I just keep this? I mean, I, I don't have the attack token turn one, so it doesn't really make sense to keep Shadow Fiend, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, oh, you want me to just keep Shadow Fiend and get rid of all the rest to try the turn two kill? Mm. Sorry. Um. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I should have. Well, it looks like we would have gotten our top three cards were Fading Memories, Oblivious Islander, Ravenous Butcher, and then another Fading Memories. All that was missing was the Curse Keeper, right? If the next card is Curse Keeper, would we have had it? Like, maybe. Right, I'm gonna have them waste their mana. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. No. We were gonna have a big turn. We can still have a big turn. We're gonna have a crazy big turn. Oh, hello there. Join you in the area. So they killed three things on that turn, and we still dealt like seven damage. Still a pretty good turn. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. All right, that's cool. Leave them nothing. Uh, yeah, Legacy of Sorrows is going to be up next. I will break them. Do not fear the shrouded path. Put him down to five. Um. Um. 
No, it's just it's just not worth playing this anywhere. Darkness. Witness strength. Search little life. Empire above all. No. Okay, it is. So if, if I would if I would have shadow shifted the Zed, it would have got three damage in, and I would have had the Zed in, in my hand. I thought the Mystic Shot would still be targeting it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y'all are saying. Okay. Some other people are saying it's tied to the spot. Yeah. I think. I think it's still Mystic Shot still would have killed it. As far as I know, that's what would happen. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I don't, different people in chat are saying different things. I don't, so I guess I don't know. But I, I would think that the Mystic Shot would still kill it. You name it, I'll nick it. I don't know what our draw could be, but it's going to need to be something good. I don't think that's it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like really positive that... I'm really positive that it would have just Mystic Shot at the thing, that it, it just keeps the Mystic Shot there. I would be shocked if it didn't. I think it still would have died. Alright, so there we go. That's our turn 2 kill deck. This is certainly a meme tier deck here, that if you can if you can pull off a turn 2 kill, anybody on YouTube, you gotta let me know that you did, you gotta let me know how it happened. Um, you know, leave, leave the comments, let me know if you got, you know, if, if uh, it worked out for you. It's super hard to have uh, the turn two kill, but, um, you know, it's just, the, this is not a deck trying to win, like, longer games and all that kind of stuff. It's just trying, and so, the, like, that's how I, I should have changed my mulligan decision that last game, because, yeah, all it's trying to do is, um, you know, put together... You know, if you get the the perfect like six card hand, um, you know you can do twenty damage on the second turn. So pretty sweet. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and like I said, leave leave those comments. If you, if you pull off this combo, you gotta let me know. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.